Hello guys, here's a new tip for Blender 2.8 and dynamic topology, but before we start, let me announce a course made by Zach Reinhardt called Mastering Sculpting. It's a step-by-step -step guide for Blender dynamic topology sculpting. He shows how to set up your tablet for sculpting, explains the different sculpting brushes, how to create base meshes and finally add more details to your models using dynamic topology. The course is available on the platform Teachable and I added a link to it to the description below with a 10% discount, so go ahead and get it, it's really worth it. Ok, but now let's continue with my sculpting tip which is also about dynamic topology. Let's assume we have this pyramid and I want to add a certain style to the edges, I want them to be smooth and rounded but not too clean, like you get it when you for example switch to edit mode and add a bevel to the edges. I do this here by pressing Ctrl and B and then move the mouse wheel to add a new segment. But this is not the style that I'm going for, I want to have it more like this. So I go ahead and undo this and then switch to the sculpting workspace. The first brush I select is the Simplify brush. But it's not my goal to make this very simple model even more simple, vice versa I want to add more details to the edges. So I open the Dim Topo section, set the detailing to constant detail, the resolution to 100 and then I enable Dim Topo, which is by the way the short term for dynamic topology. Ok, now set the stroke method to line and the spacing to 5%. Alright, and now we can go ahead and use the simplify brush and draw lines along the edges of the pyramid. The first line takes a while, I also have symmetry for the x-axis still enabled. And when I switch now to the wireframe, you can see that there is a lot of dense geometry added to the edges. I disabled the symmetry now and then I use the same method for all the edges of the pyramid. Ok, once I'm finished the geometry looks like this, quite interesting. But when I change to solid again there's no noticeable difference. But what I can do now because of this dense topology at the edges, let me turn the model a bit so that you can see it better, I hold the shift key down to enable the smooth brush and then I draw again along the edge and then you can see you get this nice smooth style for the edge. I do this now for all the edges. And when I'm done, perhaps we can go ahead and use the crease brush and add some damages for example. Ok, so I select the crease brush now and for the fall off I use this curve, because I think it's really nice for adding cracks and damages. I use a tablet for this, I highly recommend to use one, it doesn't have to be too expensive, the only thing it has to support is pressure sensitivity. Alright, I speed this up now to the end, have fun watching it. Ok guys, that's it and I want to announce again the course Mastering Sculpting by Zach Reinhardt. The course is amazing and I added a link with a 10% discount to the description below. Go ahead and check it out, it's really in my opinion the best Blender Sculpting course I've ever seen. So guys, thanks a lot for watching this, thanks for your support if you support me on my Patreon. If you like my videos and my channel then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Add your thoughts or questions to the comments below and I'll see you soon on JNM.